Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the checklist that my staff uses for off-page optimization. Wanna rank in Google Maps? Watch this. All right, hey, what's going down, guys? What is going down to the ground? So this is the checklist that I use for my staff. This is the same exact checklist that I use. So I'm giving this to you at no charge, free. This is gonna help you out immensely. Now, this is my off-page strategy. Last week, I created a three-part series on my on-page strategy, which is basically everything that we do for your website. This is once your website is launched. Well, now how do we start um, getting it ranked in the Google three pack? This is everything that we do for basically for phase one. Okay. So I use less annoying CRM. The link is in the description below. It's a screenshot of everything that we use right here. You could create your own spreadsheet and just add everything in just use an excel or a google spreadsheet and just create something based off this now in the link in the description below is also a donation link for uh for for my channel if you'd like to contribute please feel free if you don't have the cash or the crypto uh please feel free to at least share this video because this may be able to help other people all right so Let's just go over this real brief. Now, if you have any questions, today's Monday, September 13th. I'm going to do another video on Wednesday the 15th. If you have any questions about anything that's in this list, let me know and that's what I'll make the video uh, on, on Wednesday. So if you don't know what um, uh, GMB products, for example, are, right? I will, I will uh, make a video on how to do that, okay? All right, so right from the start, it's an active. The priority for a brand new site is, uh, is, is a high priority, right? When we first start it, we, now, now here's the thing. You need to make sure that when you upload a website, you need to make sure that the site is indexed. Let me show you how to do that. So, for example, you go over to MindSaw. Yeah, I mean, you go over to Google and you probably type in site, semicolon. And then, for example, we could put in MindSaw.com. And this is going to list all the pages on the MindSaw website. If you see just one page right here, and, uh, geez, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember what it says, but it, it's just in black. That means that the site is not indexed and, and Google can't find your website. You may be saying to yourself, well, if we launched it, you need to make sure that your site is, is indexed and Google can see it, right? So sometimes in WordPress, sometimes the developers will upload the site and they don't want Google to see it as, as they're developing it and they forgot to check the check mark to let them know that they could index the site. All right, so that's something that you definitely want to check. All right. Um, we want to make sure that the Google My Business is verified, so it's just basically yes or no, right? Then we add a link to the Google My Business Maps, the GMB Maps page. Then we add the categories plus the subcategories. So, for example, if you're a law, law firm, uh, that may be your number one Google category and criminal uh, criminal justice attorney is your second one and your third one may be trial lawyer and uh, so on and so forth. If you're an electrician, the same thing, right? Maybe electrician, your second one will be contractor. So all your GMB categories go right, go right here. Now you want to make sure for every GMB category, you have a page on your website for every GMB category. Now, the next one is you optimize your GMB. So we want to make sure that basic things are done. So, for example, the correct hours are in your GMB or also on your website. Now, you need to list your hours the same exact way you, that they're listed in the GMB. You can't just put mon 
fry nine to five. You have to list Monday's hours, Tuesday's hours, and so on and so forth on your website. That should be either in the footer of your website or on your contact page. All right. Then we, when we start off uh, a brand new website, we, we put up like f 15 to 20 pictures on the Google My Business all right. So we get them from the customer. They go with their cell phone. They take a bunch of pictures. They either upload them to their Google My Business or they send them to us. Right. We add a description in the Google My Business. We create a GMB site link that uh, links to the WordPress site and the, all your social. So in the Google My Business, they have a place where you could create a website. So we create a quick website. Uh, Google My Business website and we link it to the WordPress site and all the social media sites. We create, even if you're a service, like I say, like a lawyer, we create products. So for example, DUI law, uh, shoplifting law, we create them as products. It, Google only allows you to add products in the Google My Business, but if you don't have products and you have a service, it's okay to do that. Now, that's something that I may get questions on. If you know what I'm talking about, that's fine. If you don't, put it in the description below. I'll be happy to, I mean, in the comments below, I'll be happy to create a video on that. That's something that's really important. We do optimized um, GMB posts. Now, another question I get is how many times do we usually post a week? And we usually post anywhere from three to five days per week. We do optimize Google My Business Post. So if we're doing a Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York electrician, that'll be the title of the post. We'll use a picture that Google recognizes as a, a Brooklyn, a New York electrician. And then we'll optimize that post and, uh, and post it on the, uh, on the GMB. If you have questions about that, let me know. All right. What are the keywords used for this maps campaign? So all the other keywords, not GMB categories, but keyword pages. Then uh, one of the guys that I work with, uh, Tony, uh, that works with me, he'll create a YouTube video for the main GMB category. So if your main GMB category is electrician, he'll he'll create a, a YouTube uh, channel for your brand and then it will also create a video called Brooklyn Brooklyn New York electrician All right now We also get five reviews for your for your uh, GMB now the word the reason why we use clearance here because we thought everybody would want at least five reviews when you first start it's a good signal to Google and we had a client that was like, uh, no, we can't, we can't do that for some legal reasons. So, you know, we have to make sure that we get clearance from the client. Hey, is it okay to get five reviews um, when we launch your website? 99% say yes. Okay. Now, when we launch your website, the first thing that we do is we send out 15 tweets, Facebook posts, uh, Instagram posts, Google News, right? We do this for every client. This is a signal to Google that this is a real business. And what we do is we write a little story and then we put your NAP, your name, address, and phone number in all these posts with a link back to your website. This is a really good signal to Google to show that you're a real business. So we use Bright Local. If anybody knows what Bright Local is, um, we order our citations, our citations from Bright Local, and we start off with a package of 75 for the most part. So you get your most popular citations through, we get them through Bright Local. The monthly cost is what, what the client pays us a month. Um, our low end is somewhere around 500. Our high end is somewhere around $3,000 per month. Depends on the client and what they need. We use a a uh, dashboard called Local Viking that helps uh, track our clients' rankings and gives us suggestions. I created a video a while ago to seven steps to avoid a GMB sus uh, suspension. So my project manager, Chris, will make sure that when we launch the website, all these things are done. And these are, these are things that you want to do for your website. So for example, you want to take pictures of your signage. 
You want to take pictures of your business cards, your staff wearing your t-shirts or you wearing a t-shirt and upload them to your GMB. You want to make sure that you have paperwork and all your licenses on your GMB. So for example, if your business name is uh, ABC Electrical, but you are also Brooklyn, New York electrical contractors, you want to make sure you have a DBA, a doing business as, and get the paperwork because if you get suspended, you need to show Google that paperwork. All right? Proper office or, or, or desk address. Sign up with uh, Yelp and Bing. Right? So when you, when you first get your GMB or before you get your GMB, you want to get a Yelp account and, and also a Bing. And you may also want to get Yahoo and stuff like that, right? We order a press release and a data aggregator uh, pack. We usually do that through like uh, Web20 Rankers or, um, geez, I don't know where else they, they get them from, but my staff takes care of that, right? Then the, um, we get uh, citations, which we spoke about, which is the name, address, and phone number. We get about 75. We do social media and, and reviews, right? So we post on social media, and then we'll get reviews on other websites like Yelp and so on and so forth, right? The other thing we do is we get the Google review link off the GMB and just post it right here. So we'll take the GMB, GMB review link, we'll post it right here, and then this way we'll call the client and say, hey, we're gonna send this over to you. Send that out to a few of your customers and get some reviews. Because we can't just tell the customer get reviews because they don't know where to get the link, neither does the client. So if we give them the review link and they just copy and paste and text it to their clients while they're in their shop or at their location, it's much easier for the client to just click the review link and leave a review for our client. That's real important. So when we launch a website, we do 15 Google News articles, right? And we also do a couple of YouTube videos with a link going back to your website. We add the NAP, the name, address, and phone number, and also a link to your website or your keyword or GMB page. Yeah, go back and take a look at your videos. Do you have links in your YouTube videos going back to um, the client's website or your website? It's important. And then we usually do these citations and social media by, by hand, right? Nothing fancy, but uh, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google News, Yelp, we do them all by hand. Then if there's something left to complete, like every client is different and every, every client has different needs, I left a little section here for that. Then we create um, social posts as well as Web 2.0, and we call it something that I, I just named it, which is the client's ecosystem. Basically, we set up Web 2.0s and um, social accounts for traffic purposes. Some people will know what I'm talking about. So we set up all these accounts. So once you sign up uh, with, with, with one of our services, we create all these accounts for you and post to them, maybe once or twice a week, like a daily motion, a Yelp, you could only put, post pictures, but you know, we'll create some Tumblr articles with links going back to your keyword page or your uh, GMB page or your home page in the beginning. Let's talk about that for a second. So in the beginning, when you first create a website, right, you want to create brand links. So if your name, the name of your brand is ABC lawyers, you want to create brand links going back to your home page. Visit us at ABC lawyers, right? You just want to start building up your brand. You don't want to say something like the best electrical contractors in New York City with a link to your keyword page. You haven't been established as a brand yet. So I would do brand links really for the first couple of months. Really start to build up your brand. And it's important to build your brand on social. So you want your Facebook, you want your Twitter, your Instagram, your TikTok, all that. Um, 
using your brand. So this is the sheet that we first use when we launch a new website. These are all the things that we want to get started. I'm giving it to you at no charge. Use it in good health. And if there's something that I could do, please feel free to email me. I, I left my text on the bottom of this page. Feel free to text me. Um, I do consultations, though I don't really like, I really don't do them too much anymore. I do take on uh, one or two new clients. I'm, I'm booked till uh, probably around the mid or the first week of October. I'm booked till, you know, till about October, but I'll start taking clients. Any clients today, September uh, 13th, we'll probably start taking client, new clients in sometime in October. So if you're interested in jumping aboard or if you have some questions, feel free. I could always, always help you out and uh, I'm happy to do that. Now, the most important reason why we make these videos is, uh, at least for me, is just to let everybody know to be good to your family. Make sure you kiss your wife, your kids, don't ignore them, right? You could get bogged down in this uh, SEO stuff, watching video after video, before you know, you're here for 10 hours watching videos, right? Get up for a little while, stretch your legs, you know, throw the ball to your kids, or take them for a walk, or you know, be nice to your wife. Always do 51% in a relationship. Clean up, take the dog out. If you have a favorite dish to cook, cook. I know it's Monday night, but maybe your wife doesn't feel like cooking. She had a hard day at work. Take her out to eat or order food, right? Just do the good stuff. Do the good stuff. Do the good stuff. Good stuff will come back to you. I promise that. I promise that. I have to say that, you know, I'm going through a couple, of, you know, a little, little rough time right now, but I will say I've had more good days in my life than bad, right? I've, I, and the people who have come into my life, I've been very blessed to have them come into my life. Not everybody stays. But the people who came into my life definitely um, uh, helped me grow. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to those people. Right? I'm very, very grateful to those people. So that's it. Just wanted to say that. Let's keep doing the right thing. Let's keep uh, growing our businesses. And if there's something I could do, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, my help doesn't always come with a price tag, right? If I could help you real quick, I'll be happy. I'll be happy to do that. Guys, have a great day. We'll check, we'll check you out on Wednesday. Thank you.